The Chinese hackers are going after the weather. They're being accused of breaching computers at the National Weather Service. Officials say four websites and some satellite feeds were compromised. Let's bring in CNN's Evan Perez. He has more for us on the response down there in Washington. Evan, it feels like we're getting beat up online all the time. It was Russia, now it's China. What's going on here? Yeah, this is happening all the time, Chris. Now, U.S. officials say that this cyber attack targeted four weather-related websites, and it forced them to shut down services uh, to airlines, the U.S. military, and Wall Street firms. Uh, the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, says that its systems are back to normal and that it's delivering forecasts to the public. Uh, but U.S. officials say the hack was traced back to China. Now, earlier this week, the U.S. Postal Service revealed that it also suffered a major attack that affected nearly 3 million customers and 750,000 employees. Uh, that attack also, Chris, came from China, they say. And with both these attacks, uh, the government agencies waited weeks before they notified the public. And that's bringing criticism from members of Congress. Now, the Chinese embassy, uh, no surprise, says that there's no proof that the Chinese involvement of Chinese involvement in these attacks. Uh, a spokesman tells CNN that cyber attacks are quite common and that jumping to conclusions on its origin without hard evidence is not responsible at all. It's very interesting, Evan. It's like even when you do have proof of the attacks, the response to what they do to you online, what someone right. does to you, is different than if it happens like in outside the internet. You know, if there were any kind of attack like this in real life, right. not the digital life, the response would be very different. But I guess we need more information.